Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Alan's Cloud. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Kavita again. This is uh, part of uh, the ongoing series on uh, some of the functionality and installation of Kavita. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to upgrade a running instance of Kavita if you are using Docker and Portainer in a stack, um, which I should have talked about before. So let's get right to it. All right. Uh, let's go to Portainer. And here's my local collection under images. Uh, you can see that here is the latest uh, Kavita version. And if I go up here to stacks, I can actually show you the running stack. Um, so and you can see here that the image currently says nightly and nightly is the sort of bleeding edge version of the software. If you want the stable version, you just want to use uh, latest. Uh, but nightly you get all of the features and if uh, you want to help test those features and join the discord uh, come on over and you don't even have to join the discord if you are okay with uh, the potential bugs that would come along with using that latest and greatest software but i like some of the new features and uh, joe's pretty good about updating these um, uh, every day or every other day so but let me show you here uh, under images just how easy this is to to update this and, and uh, up here, this is the editor. So this is when you create your stack. Uh, this is where you put the configuration. And that'll become important here in just a second. But let's look at the images again. Let's go here to the Kavita Nightly. And let's pull uh, from the registry the latest version of it. So it should replace that one. And then here it's going to, uh, I have my username and password for Docker Hub in there. So it's going to authenticate. And then it's actually going to download it and you should get a little toaster uh, flash up here in the corner saying that it downloaded the latest version. Now it's about, I think, 400, yeah, 467 meg was, was this particular version. So it could take a minute, depending on your internet connection, for that to complete. All right, so it is now uh, successfully pulled that. And we'll go over here to the stack, and I'll show you what's happened, because it replaced... Oh, well, here, I'll go back to images and just show you. Um, so the Kavita Nightly is, is unused because that's the latest and greatest one we just pulled down. But the one that was the, the Nightly before, which now has, has a tag of none, is currently in use. And so that's what we want to replace. So we're going to come up here to the stacks again. We're going to click on the Kavita stack. And then you can see here where it used to actually have that name uh, and the tag of the, the Nightly been replaced by just these random characters because it's no longer the the latest and greatest version so that's a good indication that you you pulled it and there is a new one uh, to use so the easy part here uh, for updating this you go to your editor you don't change anything here you just hit update the stack and uh, what happens is it uh, since it's already pulled and downloaded that latest image uh, of the nightly it's going to go ahead and restart everything uh, using the same configuration, the same files, the same, you know, data and content that you had before. Uh, and there it is. It's, it's uh, already up and running. And as you can see here, we're on that latest nightly. And I, what I like to do is click on the logs here and scroll down. And you can see that this is the latest nightly version. And it's gone through and successfully done everything it, it, it needs to. You know, sometimes after it's up and running, there'll be database changes and, and configuration changes that need to happen in there. But I like to go there. Uh, right afterwards to make sure that the, the, the change has been applied successfully. And then another way that you can test it now is to actually go uh, to Kavita and then log in. And then here under the server settings, you can actually look at system and you can see that, that it matches so that we're on this, uh, you know, 5.0.25 version. So, you know, using this particular method of a stack inside of Portainer is, I think, one of the easiest ways to run a Kavita instance. I'm actually running this on my Open Media Vault NAS directly, and so those file folders are, you know, aren't being pulled from anywhere else. The, you know, the the Docker container uh, is actually being run on the same system that is hosting the file, so uh, it tends to speed things up. I think uh, a, a little bit there. So. I think it's a great way of, of using and, and updating Kavita. 
using a stack inside of Portainer uh, for Docker. And uh, I hope you have found this instructional. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't just apply to Kavita. Anything else that you're running as a stack, and as you see, I've converted everything that I run on this particular uh, NAS machine in Docker into Portainer stacks. Uh, just because it's so easy to update them when the time comes. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, have a good one.